All right guys, what's up? We are back out here at the range and uh, today we're doing some low development for my dad's 270 short mag. It is a Savage Model 16 Weather Warrior and uh, we are shooting Nosler 140 grain Afghabons with the uh, IMR 4350. So we just shot the, oh I just shot the the first load which was uh, 58 grains and uh, that was like a inch and a half group. So hopefully it tightens up as uh, the uh, grains go up and uh, hopefully we could uh, find a good node to where we could uh, do some more fine tuning. but. No, we'll see. We also brought out the 308 and the 243 again. So we're just gonna hang out here for the day. Today brought the usual suspect, Jamie. We drove the Jeep today. The dog's in the car because uh, he's annoying her and it's a little, it's a little loud for him out here. So yep, just set up. 308, 270 short. You know, we're just gonna enjoy the day out here. It's fairly, it's not too cold today. It's very cloudy. It's probably rained this morning, so it's a little warmer than the other day. Everything's starting to melt, and uh, yeah, we're just gonna see if we can find a good note. And then for sure, we're gonna go, once we're done with my dad's short mag here, we're gonna drive up to where I usually set up for some long range, and I'll probably ring still out to three four maybe 500 yards depending how far i want to walk out those steel plates out to so yeah we're gonna do this and then we're gonna head over there later it's only about 125 so we still got a few hours and uh yeah we're just gonna see if we can find some good nodes today
So I shot two loads of my dad's short mag. The first load was like an inch and a half for a three shot group and then I started shooting four shot groups because I, I mean, it's a hunting gun so three shot is more than enough in my opinion but the second group was about say either a minute or just under a minute so it looks like the groups are starting to tighten up and uh, we're going to shoot the next load which should be 59 grains of a uh, IMR 4350 so I'm gonna shoot that and I shot a group out of my gun today a lot better if I didn't if I didn't pull one then it would have been sub minute sub half minute you know so with that flyer it's probably like a minute right now but it's all right it's grouping a lot better from last week but yep, I'm using the phone scope with the vortex razor and arranged it we are exactly at 107 yards but big deal so yeah we're just gonna finish up and I'm gonna go shoot some steel in a bit The third group I shot from my dad's 270 short mag was under an inch, I think, and uh, they're just getting tired, so we're going to shoot. We got two more loads left to shoot, and then uh, once we're done with that, then, like I said earlier, we're going to go shoot some steel. But yeah, so far the 270 short mag is a lot. It has been a lot easier to uh, find a good note for than any of the other rifles that I've done. The three rifles that I've been, well, have worked on. So that's a good thing. And uh, we are using the CCI 250 Magnum pr uh, primers, and I am seeding them uh, 15 thousandths from the lands. So. Which is pretty nice. The uh, the Savage. I'll show you guys my dad's gun. The uh, Savage Model 16. This is the Weather Warrior. The internal magazine is actually fairly long, so it allows me to uh, see closer to the lands, and uh, that makes it a. Uh, from my experience, it. They're usually more accurate. Loads are easier, are uh, much more accurate when they're seated that deep into the chamber. So, yeah. I know my dad has not yet to take off the sticker. He's had this gun for about three years. And, uh, I don't know why he hasn't taken it off, but we're just gonna leave it. It does have a Nikon. Pro Staff 5 BDC model. It's a great gun. It shoots really well. The trigger is about three pounds. I tested it the other day with my my trigger gauge, and it's at about three pounds. It's an Accu trigger. Got my Harris bipod on it. It's got a 24-inch barrel. And my dad has shot elk and deer with it, so it's a good rifle with factory ammo. But I'm trying to get better, uh, better ammo for it, so that's so why we're loading for it. So yeah, I'm just gonna shoot the next load with that real quick. See how that goes. All right, guys, we're gonna do some. Uh, well, I just uh. Shot Jamie's. I shot another group from Jamie's gun with the same load from last week, the 38 grains of H4350 with the uh, 100 grain CR Game Kings. I'm grouping pretty good. So 
we're gonna chronograph it. We got the um, magneto speed chronograph. I believe this is a sporter version hooked up to the front of the barrel. Yep, so we're gonna shoot three, uh, three shots and we're gonna see what the average uh, velocity is. So, yeah. All right, so we just did a, we just shot three rounds. The, uh, the average is 27.26 for three shots. The high was 27.28, the low was 27.23, the SD is two. The ES is five. So, yeah, not bad. Like again, this is a hunting rifle, so you know we're not gonna shoot some crazy nine, ten round groups, which is kind of ridiculous, in my opinion, for a hunting rifle. So pretty good. I think this load will do for now. It will shoot if I do my job. So we're gonna call it good. We have seven rounds left, and we're just gonna save them for some steel in a bit. And so yeah, we're gonna wrap it up and we're gonna head over and set up and shoot some steel. So we'll see you guys over there. All right, so we just got, I just got back from setting up my steel plates. We got the six inch plate at 280 and the 10 inch plate at 350. I thought I walked out further, but guess not and it's getting dark. So we're just gonna do that and we'll see uh, if we could hit on the our first shots so it's kind of hard to see but the six inch plate is right there and the 10 inch plate is right here so I'm going to shoot the six inch, six inch plate first and see how we do there is a breeze from right to left here. It's about maybe four to five miles per hour. So I'm gonna dope for that too and uh, see if we can hit on our first impact. So yeah, I'll try to get it on the phone scope and see if we could see if Jamie can uh, spot for me through that. So. <laughs> we'll see how she does. 